my name is Dan and this is my YouTube channel make do DIY and first video I'm probably gonna post is about my 2018 used Tesla Model S I bought it not because I'm a fan of electric vehicles or the Tesla company but I've always had Toyota vehicles or Hondas and typically I could probably get them the last 300,000 miles because I do my own mechanic work but because I live in New York State and we use a lot of salt on the roads they tend to rust out of me and I was tired of it so I sold my Camry had 168,000 miles on it and it was starting to rust out the drivetrain transmission the engine were all good plenty of compression left but I was just tired of the car rusting out from underneath me. So I bought this used model Tesla S. It's got an all aluminum body. And the only issue I have with it is there's some metal screws and brackets that I'm going to address today. So I'm going to take my winter tires off, put my summer tires on, and take a magnet and find all the metal bolts and studs and nuts brackets, clips, and spray them down with some Cosmoline to make the car last 300,000 miles. Alright, so I'm back and I got the winter tire and wheel off. And now I'm getting ready to put my summer tires on, but before I do that, I want to find out what's steel and what's rusting out and what needs to be sprayed with some Cosmoline. So here we got the stabilizer bar. I bet you that is steel. Yep, it is steel. Seems painted pretty well, and I can see no signs of rust yet. We got this aluminum arm for the steering rack. That's steel. The clip is steel. Let me get my head in here to make sure you're seeing what I'm seeing. Steel, steel, steel. The nuts and bolts are all steel. The main chassis frame is aluminum. Upper control, I don't know what these parts are called, but it's aluminum. Bolts are steel and starting to rust. So this again, this is a 2018 Model S and I bought it used. It was originally registered in New Jersey and I don't know how much salt they use. And here's our upper control arm, and that is definitely rusted. So I'm going to hit that up good with some Cosmoline. The bolts. The joint. This arm. Steering brackets. Clips for the drive shaft. Let me see if I can get the camera in here correctly. Bolts. Steering bracket. Steering. The actual calipers are aluminum. Obviously rusty. So this is all aluminum. Steel nut. But the stud, ironically, the stud right here is not. That's aluminum. All the steering lines are steel. The nuts are steel suspension lower arms the bolts that keep everything are steel but everything else is made out of aluminum Ooh, we got some steel in there so this arm is aluminum but the piece of the air suspension that goes into there is steel and starting to rust we'll look up into here and we have a positioner that's aluminum with a steel nut Oh, I got that magnet stuck on there good. So it just seems like all the pieces and parts. How about. Oh, man. Oh. The heat shield is made out of steel, really. Not the heat shield, the dust cover. So these rotors were replaced by Tesla. I bought it in February. 
of 2022. And you can see they already rust, but they're a usable item. Huh, I didn't know in Jack mode I'd be able to turn this. Anything else important that I need to hit? That's plastic. Aluminum. Alright. So the stabilizer bar right here. Steel too. Steel nuts. Inside this drive shaft right here. Starting to rust. I don't even know if you can see that. Oh my god. I'll bet that head don't fit in here. Yeah, you won't be able to see that. Maybe from this way? So bring the camera right down in there. There's a little bracket around that. That's rusted. So what I'm going to do is uh, hit this stuff up with Cosmoline. Make it last longer. Try to get 300,000 miles out of it. So I got Cosmoline from Cosmoline Direct. Representative spray. It's basically a wax coating keep steel from getting rusted and we're gonna hit up all the parts that we know rust without trying to get any on to the brake pads or rotor let's see common application danger directions shake well clean and dry spray evenly coat allow one to two hours for coating to dry Second coat, second coat I'll do next year at this time. Taking off the winter tires. Oh, I thought I brought a steel brush over here. Ah, I did. On this side, I'm going to try the amber stuff. On the other side, I will try the black. Uh, I'm going to have to wipe that off. All right, I've got this upper A arm. This is the worst corrosion that I've gotten here. Again, this is 2018. See if you're looking at what I'm looking at. Right there. It's not the best painted, but it's not worse painted than any the other American or Japanese cart manufacturer. I don't know how much salt they use in Jersey either. Probably not as much as they do in New York State. So I could use a big old white. Oh yeah, she's rusty all the way to back in there. Oh, Mr. Camera don't want to fit in. Let's see. Any better? No, I can't see. <laughs> All right. We'll do one of these. There we go. You see the rust back there? Now some of this stuff hasn't failed yet, it's just steel. And the coating on it is good enough that it hasn't rusted. And some of it's already starting to rust. So I'm going to hit up anything that I know that the paint can fail. Hand in there. 
Anyways, steel, steel. See what else we got in here. Big old bolt. Oh, I lost my straw. That bracket. I see some steel back there. I don't even know. Oh, I am looking at my steerage linkage. That's starting to rust out back there. Ah, oh, that stuff's stinky. Another big old bolt. Got my straw. <laughs> Some stuff up here is getting less salt spray, so it's less corrosion. Yeah, it was on the shelf. Good enough for now. So what I'm doing underneath here on our used Bonnell S is I'm going to get all the stuff that does rust. Can we find any rust already? Yes. So is that steel? Put the magnet to it. Touch that. Yes. Yep. How about this bolt back here? Yes. Or nut. So what we're doing is we're taking this Cosmoline stuff and we're spraying it down Ooh. to keep those parts from Not rusting. You, that smells bad. It does. It smells nasty. So I'm going to spray that. Bracket, it's not gonna hurt you. It's yellow. It is. I got a black kind too, and I think I like the yellow better because I can see any damage underneath the the yellow sheen. So is this bolt here? Touch me out. I bet you it's steel. Steel stronger than aluminum. So there's some places you got to use. Now, do I want to get any on this? Uh, no. Why? Because that's what holds the tire. Up. Kind of. This is what the brake comes to, and if you get the brake pads soaked with the grease and makes them less effective and then the vehicle becomes dangerous. Your mom? I don't know. Probably. It's not a bad thing, right? All right. We have two cars. Yeah, we have three vehicles. We have a Toyota Tacoma that's all rusted out. We've got a Toyota RAV4 that's in good shape. That got fixed after the deer creamed it. Um, Go ahead. No, we've got Chaco. That's the Tacoma. Deer kill. That's the RAV4. Kill, kill deer and Tessie. You call it kill deer? Kill deer. Mom's car is now kill, kill deer. Because you wanted to call it something about killing a deer since she accidentally hit a deer. Mm -hmm. And kill deer is a bird, so I guess that's better. All right. Let's see. What else do we got that's steel underneath here? Oh, look at these big fat bolts. Tessie's Get them. Why is Tessie my favorite? Because you bought a Tesla. Huh? Expensive. Yeah, it is expensive. Am I going to get my monies out of it in the long run, though? Uh, yeah. Yep. They're also going to be better for the environment, not because it's electric, but why? Do you know? Because you don't produce Nope, because there's something called energy returned. 
over energy invested. Do you know what that means? No. So it takes a lot of uh, fossil fuels to make a vehicle. Even an electric vehicle, you have to use natural gas. Is that the dog? You have to use natural gas. You have to use coal. You have to use oil and diesel in order to produce it. <coughs> so if you can have the vehicle last 300,000 miles, you get a lot more energy returned over energy invested. Yes, you got the two magnets stuck together, didn't you, Dingbat? So if you can get a vehicle like this, even though it's expensive initially, to last 300,000 miles, you will get your money and energy's worth out of it. Does that make sense to you? Yes. I said if you can get a vehicle like this to last 300,000 miles, you will get your money and your energy out of it. And then you said... I don't remember. Uh, check this out. Is this steel? What, what is going on with this? Yes. Yeah, it's steel. Well, the door, door handles are plastic, oh, cool. correct? Was that right? So yeah, it's just chrome plastic. I'm not worried about that. That doesn't get exposed to the rust. That's fun. A little hook. Yes, yeah, the latches. All right, let's go the way underneath. Nothing like sticking your head in the line of fire. Uh, get that, we'll get that, get this little line. Oh. What are you owing? Yanmar. Yanmar? The tractor? The A is ripped off on the red part, so it just says Yanmar. Yanmar? Yanmar. Yeah, what happened there? Uh, erosion. Nope, I spilled diesel, and diesel is a. a a, so which now one? you have a Yanmar? Diesel is a uh, solvent, so it just uh, dissolves the... Stone. Yeah, it's... Yeah, kind of. You're right. You'll be so crusty, and you got the pen pants on. What? The pen pants. Oh, the pen pants? The pen pants. Yeah, well, I don't wear good clothes when I'm doing work like this. Why? You just ruin them. All right, I think I got all pots I wanted to get. There's something I'm missing under here. Sometimes you gotta go by touch. Oh, you don't have the truck in the right spot. What's the right spot? Right there, it's not the climb on. All right, I need a, I need a wheel. No. Nope. What? what are you doing? Putting the summer tires on. Yeah. Putting the old summer tires back on. Is this what it Ooh. came with? Yeah, this is what it came with. Nice. It doesn't smell nice. It does not sound nice. The, the dunk. The dunk? Yeah. The donkey dunk. It's not a donkey. Oh, don't get on the freaking rotors. We don't want any wax on the rotors. <laughs> we don't want any waxes on the rotors. <laughs> Alright, you gonna have me not? Uh, you know what, I haven't even put uh, Never Seas on these nuts yet because they have some nice little covers that have been keeping the rust out and they seem pretty well anodized or zinc coated. No, I'll press stop.